What's up everybody, it's your boy Devilian7 back at it again with another combat guide but with this time being for the upcoming Yakuza Kiwami. About 6 months ago before the release of Yakuza 0, I made a similar combat video demonstrating the basics and know-hows of the fighting mechanics as well as some important tips that you should keep in mind. For this video, I will not be reiterating what I said in that video because really the basics are pretty much exactly the same which is why I'll leave the link to it in the description below if you're interested, which you should definitely check it out if you want to learn a thing or two about the combat, which also heavily applies to Kiwamis. What I will be covering in this video, on the other hand, are the newer features that aren't available in Yakuza 0, such as the newly implemented Kiwami finisher system, the Majima Everywhere system, and any new specifics about the fighting styles in between, like if there were any nerfs that you should be aware of, and that sort of thing. With that out of the way, let's get right into the first and foremost thing that every newcomer should absolutely be aware of. Kiwami's finisher system. Unlike Yakuza 0, which only had quick time events as a means of a more interactive experience with the bosses, Kiwami adds in a whole new super move system that applies to all the story bosses. Now the tutorial does tell you about this and how to use it, but once Kiryu gets out of prison where your abilities are back to zero, you're never really told that you should buy these finishers first before being able to use them. As such, I'm here to tell you that you need to get these finishers ASAP, especially since the glowing state will regenerate the boss's HP. But you can also stop that with regular heat actions if you still do not own any of the finishers. But thankfully, you'll be able to get all three of them fairly early enough. I say three because the fourth style Dragon of Dojima's finisher has to do with Majima everywhere and we'll get to that later on. Utilizing these finishers is simple and straightforward enough. Once the bosses reach a certain health point, the glow around them is indicative of two things. One is that you can use a finisher at this moment, obviously, and the other thing is that the color of the glow indicates which style's finisher you can use at this boss. So for example, this boss right here is glowing pink at the moment, so all I have to do is switch to the respective rush style, approach the boss with enough heat, press triangle, and voila! God, I fucking love that move. I should also mention that these finishers will do much more damage if you're in red heat, or climax heat as the English release calls it, than you do if you're in regular blue heat. So this is something to keep in mind if you want to maximize your damage. This about covers the Kiwami finishers section, so now we move on to the next part, which is the all new Majima Everywhere system. Can I get Goromi now, please? Please? Yes! Yes! There we go, folks! There we go! That's Gurumi, that's her! Oh, shit! <laughs> it's nice to meet you too, Gurumi. Let's fucking do this. This has to be one of the most anticipated features in the game. Majima will stalk you all around Kamurocho, and I do mean every fucking spot that you least expect. You'll find him popping out in the most unexpected places at the most unexpected time. Whether we're talking about popping out of a trash can, that's right, a fucking trash can of all places, randomly jiving into street fights that have nothing to do with him whatsoever, and even finding his way to you through the sewers if it meant messing with Kiryu, and the instances just drag on. What you wanna know about this system is that it is the only way to regain your abilities in the Dragon of Dojima style. That style is practically useless at the beginning of the game once you've lost all your abilities. It's literally unusable, you're limited to a two square rush combo and you don't even gain any heat from it. So as you go on with the story of the game, make sure you also find Majima throughout the city and fight him and trigger his special events to rank up your friendship with him and gain moves at the same time. It also needs to be said that once you beat him while you're in the outdoor grounds of the city, you'll need to re-enter it by going to any nearby shop and then leaving again if you want to find him again. A select few of the moves in this style can be learned from a trainer called Komaki, whom you'll meet later in the game in an area called Purgatory. So once you meet him, fulfill the requirements of his requests and he'll teach you some pretty handy moves you wanna have, such as the prestigious Tiger Drop, which has a love and hate relationship with the fanbase for being ridiculously powerful. But I digress. 
For the last section of the video I wanted to highlight some of the new changes or alterations to the combat in comparison to Yakuza 0 that you should be fully aware of. Combat has been nerfed down from how it was in Zero, most notably with Beast and Dragon of Dojima. You're unable to rely on Beast as your fuck everything here I come style anymore, seeing as you'll flinch more easily in this game so you'll have to plan out your moves efficiently most of the time. But that's where a vital new feature shines. Once you unlock these specific abilities, you can change your fighting style literally on the fly in various situations, such as while dodging or while getting up or while throwing a weapon or during a taunt and so on. With this possible, you can really scramble all sorts of strategies and techniques techniques into your game and make your combat look that much more colorful and dazzling. It's especially useful in cases like when you're in the middle of being attacked and then being able to switch to rush to dodge your way out of the rest of the attacks. You can do this by holding L1 after switching to rush and then just dodge your way out with X, like so. So unlock these quick change abilities as soon as you can and make sure to make use of each style efficiently depending on the situation you're in and I think you'll find yourself having a good time. With that said though, Yakuza Kiwami is arguably one of the most challenging games in the series, which is why you should carefully examine the moves that you can do and use any move that you find useful, rather than just say mashing squares your victory, because that'll seldom work in this game. At the conclusion of this video, I wanna say that I hope this video will serve to benefit all of you. Kiwami's definitely no joke when it comes to the AI difficulty as some of you have clearly seen in some of my Japanese Kiwami videos. <coughs> so, you should make use of whatever useful moves you have at hand to give you a better chance of winning. And I wanna say this in advance, but no matter how many times the game may make you wanna rip your hair out, just bear in mind what you've heard from this video and the Yakuza 0 Combat Guide, if you watch that. Persevere and you should be fine. That's all for this video. Peace!